Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. It is Friday the 26th of June, and it's a pleasure, as always, to have so many of you with us this morning for our live assembly. And what a week it has been. Incredible weather this week, bringing us up to what I'm sure will be a beautiful weekend as well. And the highlight for me this week has definitely been having Year 10 students back in the academy, back in class, working with their teachers. And well done to each and every one of you that has been back into the academy this week. And um, really looking forward to welcoming students in Year 12 back to the academy from Monday morning. Um, now, today is the final day of our assembly theme for being unusually brave. And as a special treat for today, we've got two um, really brave people that we're gonna be exploring and learning a little bit more about today. Um, and so I'm gonna introduce you to um, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, that was born in 1869 and died in 1948. And let's have a think about why it is that Gandhi was an unusually brave individual. So during um, the British Raj on India from 1858 to 1947, the British Empire ruled over India. Now during this time, there were many positive political and economical developments in India, but at the same time, a lot of power was being removed from the people of the country. Now Gandhi was a brave lawyer that wanted to fight for the freedom of the country. And many, of the, many at the time resorted to violence when protesting for rights. But Gandhi believed in a peaceful protest. He once said, an eye for an eye makes the world blind. Let's just think about that quote for a second. An eye for an eye makes the world blind. So but through silence and kind words, he led the independence movement. And when others were violent against him and his beliefs, he would show them kindness and educate them about his views. So our first unusually brave individual for today, Mahatma Gandhi, who died in 1948. I'm going to hand over to, to Miss Collier. Miss Collier. Thank you, Ms. Mavia. Good morning, everyone. So I've got some well-being um, resources for you that I'd like to tell you about today before I talk about my unusually brave person. So if you remember last Friday, I spoke to you about the virtual art club that Ms. Priscott had started. So just to remind you, this is the image that we are all looking to create. Staff have started their own art club as well. So we are currently in the process of painting the same picture. So the video last week, you should have completed the background. The video we are launching today on our social media is kind of in the foreground. So after today's video, you will have a completed painting. What we would love you to do is we would love you to share with us your completed paintings. We are going to complete, uh, uh, create a staff and student kind of art wall where we can compare and see each other's work. So please do have a go. You can find last week's as well on social media. So have a go and send us your finished art pieces, please. Um, second thing I'd like to talk to you about today is some wellbeing resources that we've created for you, the students. So if you look at our school website, under the student tab, there is the mental health and wellbeing page. And there are different activities and different resources for each, um, each of the kind of the different areas of mental health and wellbeing. So there's anxiety and stress, depression, and there's lots more coming. So please have a look. They've got some inside academy uh, resources and some outside academy resources as well, places that you can find support. So they're really, really great. So please have a look. Now, I'm going to talk about an unusually brave woman today who, whose name was Emmeline Pankhurst. She was born in 1858 and she died in 1928. Now, you may know that once in the UK, women were not allowed to vote. We were not treated equally to men. So in 1903, she founded a group called the Women's Social and Political Union. And she was the founder of a group called the Suffragettes, who were women who were voting for women to be seen as equals and given the right to vote in the country. Um, she campaigned for the right to vote through some sometimes quite violent and quite controversial protests in order to be seen and to be recognised. She worked incredibly hard to ensure that women were heard and that our views were listened to by everybody, including the government. 
we could almost say that if it wasn't for Emmeline Pankhurst and the suffragettes, someone like myself would not be in the position I'm in in senior leadership in the school or other women in high jobs or positions of kind of responsibility across the country. So thank you to uh, Emily pa Emmeline Pankhurst for everything she did. And now I'm going to pass over some unusually brave people and our special guests for today. So here we go. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be back in school. It feels so weird, but it's so great. Um, I'm here today to do some introduction videos for the new year sevens coming in next year. And um, I'm so excited to see everyone and remember to stay safe. Thank you, goodbye. Hi everyone, it is a bit weird to be back in school uniform, but I'm here to make an induction video for the new year seven and I'm really happy to be back in school. Um, here's a birthday shout out to Gordy, year eight, happy 13th birthday. Gaja, year nine, happy 14th birthday. Samira, year nine, happy 14th birthday. Gemma, year 12, happy 17th birthday. And Rosin, year seven, happy 12th birthday. And on Sunday, there is only one birthday, Siva in year seven, and he is 12. Guys, what a treat for us this morning and a massive thank you to our Year 7 students for taking part in the assembly this morning. All four of them being unusually brave today and as they mentioned there, working in the academy today, preparing some personal videos to send to Year 6 students that were, will be joining us in September. Now, as always, our closing reminders for today, please remember that wherever possible, we should be staying at home washing our hands frequently for at least 20 seconds, making sure that we're staying fit and healthy. And when we're outside or out and about in public, remembering to um, retain that two metre distance from other people. Ladies and gents, thank you for joining us this morning. And we look forward to seeing you um, bright and early on Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Thanks,